Virendra Sehwag recently said, if there is one bowler he was really scared of, was you. He's been modest because whenever <laughs> he played, he smashed me. He was the most <laughs> dangerous player I ever bowled to because he just doesn't think about the reputation, anything. Yeah. He just go after it. <laughs> nice welcome meeting to you. India, <laughs> welcome to Curly Tales. Please yes, have a seat. Yes. So happy to have you on the show. Name of the show is Sunday Brunch. I want to know what does an average Sri Lankan do on a Sunday afternoon? They relax because uh, <laughs> definitely they'll cook and uh, good food, and uh, both parents will be there. The children will be there, so they're having lunch together. We know about the average Sri Lankan. Now I want to know about the extraordinary Sri Lankan, retired cricketer who has had 800 wickets in his stride, highest ever. What does he do on a Sunday afternoon? I go a pastry shop. My daughter likes to get some pastry and sometimes sons to eat pastry because in early morning. Then I uh, get into uh, a run around near the, near the house. Okay. So, you go about half an hour, at about at least three, four kilometers, I do a little bit of run. Wow. And then, gosh, and I have a breakfast, nice breakfast. And what I do is, normally at about 10 o'clock, I relax and watch a movie. Wow. You see, <laughs> watch a movie. Sometimes we go to a brunch. Then in the afternoon, I have a nap. At about 2 o'clock, 3 o'clock, it's about just a half an hour nap. Then follows next day is a school and you know the people getting ready for whatever. Wow. From the sound of it, I heard a lot of relax, a lot of afternoon nap, lots of food. That's exactly what we are going to do today. So what are the usual breakfast in Sri Lanka? I want to know. Uh, it's like similar to a little bit of Kerala. Yeah. Uh, right. You would say uh, in Sri Lanka, bread is one thing and they will have with uh, curries. Yeah. Like fish curry or anything like, you know, vegetable stew or whatever with that. Then sometimes you have, um, you know, appam. Yes, I know appam. And then uh, rotis. Okay. Then uh, this is a different roti. It's a coconut roti. Coco oh, yeah. I've never and had that. And milk rice. Okay. They make milk rice. So, uh, idiyapam. Yes. Yes. I so, these are the idiyapam. traditional breakfast in uh, in Sri Lanka. So we are at JW Marriott in Jew today and we've got some delicious breakfast and lunch which is brunch from the Lotus Cafe. We're going to enjoy a delicious Sunday brunch. Thank you very much. <laughs> <laughs> Like you mentioned, the South Indian uh, food and the Sri Lankan food is a little similar. Mostly Kerala. Yeah. It's South India. Right. So the pitu, appam, uh, this, uh, then idli, and uh, dosa is from there. Yeah. And they also have, uh, like, you know, kotu parata, they say. Yes. Uh, it's mostly it's a mix of all Indian cuisine. Right. And it's a different taste because it's a coconut based. Right. And also, uh, it's a uh, little spicier. Like yeah. Andhra, you get a lot of spicy here. Yeah? Yes. Similar spices they use uh, in uh, Sri Lanka. Great. So now here, we've got you a mix of a lot of food. So let's begin. How good are you at cooking? I'm okay. Hmm. I'm not a big time professional cook. So I can cook basic food. Like, you know, Rice, dal, uh, chicken. So, what is that one thing that you always try when you come to India? I've always been India, even IPL, yeah. even there. So, I married in uh, Chennai. Yes, so your in laws are in, in Chennai. Chennai. Oh, so, okay. India is like a second home, and also my ancestors from here. Absolutely, yeah. Your grandparents lived in India, right? Yeah. And it's not one thing, so mm -hmm. many things do in India because. <laughs> India is a land of opportunity. Absolutely. So, do you know Hindi? Given that you have such a strong connection with India. Mm, Tamil. I'm fluent in Tamil. Let's play a fun game. I'm yeah. going to give you a few choices. You have to tell me out or not out. Okay. Okay. So, to begin with, street food. Not out. Solo traveling. Not out. You've done solo traveling? Yeah, yeah. I've done okay. a lot you, of times. You like when, like... when I was single. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Binge watching a TV show. Not out. Beaches. Out. Mountain. Not out. Oh, so you're a mountain person. 
spicy food not out going to watch a movie alone uh, out out you don't do no. that so you were talking about your grandparents living mm. in india in tamil yes. nadu in tamil it's nadu. called a uh, place called trichy as a district mm-hmm. um and it's in namakkal circle small uh, village my grandfather was a farmer when britishers in 1920s and 20s or something yeah so they took uh, uh, people to work in tea plantation in sri lanka in sri lanka so job was they call kankani that means it's a supervisor yeah. his job was yeah and the wife used to pluck uh, the tea, tea leaves. leaves okay so he fought with the the britisher who was superintendent so the court decided to deport both of them at the time my grand uh, uncles were working in kalambu they studied a little bit right. my father didn't have enough money to study but other two uncles studied yeah so they doing and one went to kandy uh, and worked in a uh, biscuit manufacturing company as a sales rep oh so and you were born in kandy yeah we are all from kandy and how did like a son of a businessman get into cricket how did how did your beginning happen there in kandy itself they put in a catholic school me and a uh, one brother hmm. there is rules and regulation you know in the catholic school yeah morning you get up at 5:30 5:45 you have to wash your clothes you have to do everything yeah so they are only it's a play time everyone plays cricket you know understand so that's the way i loved playing cricket because i've stayed in the hostel were you always a bowler or did you try your hand at no, batting no, both, as well no no both both as good at bowling uh, so i just gave up batting and t- keep on uh, Uh, bowling you know what uh, virendra sehwag recently said hmm. if there is one bowler he was really scared of was you was murli uh, he's murli been, he's, he's, he's been modest because whenever <laughs> he played he smashed me he was the most <laughs> dangerous player i ever bowled to because he just doesn't think about reputation anything yeah he just go after it <laughs> my one is bent like this both hmm. arms so some is hyper go this way some is this way so like so you are straight yeah, yeah. my one is straight. ah okay so that made me to bowl differently and everything so that's the all about scientifical it's a big big episode when 295 to it went for 10 years so yeah. somehow they found it's it's all legal and nothing yeah. wrong with it still you can umpire can question and you have to go again check it if they come and complain then yeah. you have to go and show again check and do the all these technical things and you have to prove yourself was it frustrating for you you said 10 years you tried to it's frustrating prove. but i got used to it <laughs> <laughs> were you scared of any batsman that you like it's so difficult to get him out was there somebody like that not scared hmm. somebody is coming and playing well it's getting annoyed <laughs> and i get yeah. annoyed sometimes i want to ask you a few fun questions about cricket okay, okay? which is who's most likely to okay. so i want to know who's most likely to engage in an on field banter with opponents Banter means just a friendly way, is it? And also sledging, <laughs> a little bit. I never sledge. You never did. When they sledge, I smile. Really? What yeah, you... because you see, well, the problem is if you somebody sledge at you. Yeah. You sledging means that you got worked up. Yeah. Right, you got upset. Yeah. So they want to That's disturb what... you. Yeah. That's that they want. Yeah. So when people sledge at you, yeah. You just smile. You don't understand English. right <laughs> then they get annoyed you can't understand so that's a trick we always use i that's use a good trick <laughs> sometimes you don't understand also yeah you just smile and be happy you defeat them with your bowling yeah <laughs> our <laughs> team uh, mile and sanga can uh, will sledge sometimes yeah because okay. they can they can not sledge means when they say something they will get back they will give it back right who's most likely to be a prankster in the dressing room I think Pramodya Vikram Singh. Okay. He played long time ago. Okay. He just make pranks. Sometimes we get caught. Okay. For those are pranks because then uh, really embarrass ourselves. Who's most likely to get in trouble with match officials for excessive celebration? That uh, is Sri Shant. Okay. <laughs> When we get out somebody. Yeah. It can be very painful to that person. <laughs> He will do so many things. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Who's most likely to party all night and then show up again? in the morning practice or the match in ipl we used to the first three ipls we used to party like that not <laughs> only one everyone in the team yeah. but after that the strict yeah. rules and regulations came yeah. nobody didn't go out yeah. very difficult to go out now 
I want to know your uh, movie Eight Hundred is coming up. I'm looking forward to watch it. Uh, what do we watch out for in the film? Does it encapsulate your journey? First place, I didn't want to have a movie because these uh, Indian directors and everybody pushed me. Yeah. You know, director Ko Venkat Prabhu hmm. in uh, South India. Yeah. His um, childhood uh, friends for my wife. Okay. So then they were talking. I they were seeing my trophies and everything. Then he got interested to make a movie. That's why it started. Then first place, then manager said, "Okay, okay, you'll do it." So then I gave this to okay. It's in 2018. Yeah, and actually, ever since the announcement, there has been a lot of controversy also around the release of the film. You know, it was supposed to be done by another actor by Vijay uh, Sethupathi. Vijay Sethupathi. And I think then you only asked him to step out. It's politically, it's a little bit uh, motivated uh, that one. Yeah. So they want Vijay Sethupathi, but it won't be happening. And um, he has a lot of films in his hand. Yeah. And I don't want to deprive his uh, earnings because of telling me he has signed a contract. We have yeah. paid advance, so he have our producers. So I told him to just to leave because he has to go on his life. No, he don't yeah. have to go through my difficulty in cricket. Also, I went through the film making. Yeah. The film also <laughs> went through so many problems. So I thought. Um, It's a nice way to just him to be relaxed and let him act. What is it, Murli sir, that keeps you going? That, I mean, you said something also that when somebody sleds at you, you smile back. Mm -hmm. And when you are against all of these odds, how do you retaliate? How do you keep calm? What is your mental process there? I think uh, I live in Australia for age of six to sixteen. A lot mm -hmm. of friends, a lot of ups and downs. So that teach me a lot of life lesson mm -hmm. when I was younger. See, anger is the worst thing, no, in yeah. life. So, and also, when I was in this trouble, all country behind me, my teammates behind me, their support also gave me a lot of strength. Yeah. Why should I give up and go? So just fight it yeah. on. Yeah. In today's generation, who is your favorite cricketer? I like Virat. <laughs> People might say so many things, but it hmm. doesn't matter for me. Hmm. I think because I played three years with him hmm. uh, in uh, his captain also in uh, Royal Challengers. Yeah. He's a wonderful person. Yeah. Inside, he has his snack that uh, he will joy and everything. That yeah. is, if he doesn't do that, he won't be the same cricketer. Right. He get uh, so worked up and everything, yeah. excited. So yeah. he's like a kid. Yeah. Still. Yeah. So I like that because he's maintaining that because whether he's captain or not captain or whatever, True. he wants when a wicket goes, his celebration is yeah <laughs> uh, something. But. Opposition might get annoyed or whatever, but this is his character. Yeah. When you take out your character, hmm. you become an ordinary person. Yeah. So whether opposition doesn't like or people, yeah. does, some people doesn't like or yeah, you should not stop. Yeah. The excitement there, that's why he's performing. Yeah. If that excitement is gone, no more Virat. <laughs> That's my theory. Yeah. I don't know whether everyone accepts so or not. He, I think like that. His characteristics make him, and he yeah. shouldn't let go of let that. Go, no. Yeah. Okay. Is there any other bowler who you think can beat the score of 800 wickets or break your record? Nowadays, maybe Ashwin. Okay. If he played enough, good. He's 36, but he might a little older because he has taken four. Jimmy Anderson already in. 41 or 42. Yeah. He had about another 120 wickets or something. That's depend on how they fit and everything. So other than that, only these two people can have a glimpse of hope. Other <laughs> glimpse than, of hope. I like that. <laughs> because the problem is glimpse of hope means what he means saying is they have to play for a long time. True. See, funny when you are 41. Yeah. And if you for three years, it's not easy going yeah. to be. Yeah. Yeah. And Ashwin to get 36, and he has to play for seven, eight years right. to get another 300, 400 wickets. Yeah, it's going to be hard. Yeah. So, but only they have a little bit of hope to hmm. can do that. Which is the best cricket advice you ever received, and something that you would like to pass on? See, always I, when I speak to see Sachin or anything, he has given me also sometimes a lot of people enjoy the game. Enjoy. It. That's yeah. it. Whatever you do, you have to enjoy. Whether you what are you doing now, you yeah. have to enjoy. If you don't enjoy, it will become boring for you. You don't want to do it. True. So enjoyment is more important. Absolutely. Do you do you miss playing cricket? I was ten years back. Okay. Right. I retired at twenty years, to fifteen years back, fourteen years back, also thirteen years back. Now I don't. 
if you can give some recommendations to our uh, audience who want to travel to Sri Lanka. Only place in the world. Yeah. You can get all the climates. Yes. All the sceneries you can see within two hours. Okay. Two three hours drive. Yeah. So you go to Colombo. Colombo is a, a a city. Yeah. That lot of restaurants, lot of things, and you can do lot of nice beaches and everything. Bentota, everything. Gaul, yes. the fort, everything. Yes. There is one thing I would say, Trincomalee. Okay. And then if you go to heritage sites, are there in Dambulla? Yeah. Uh, in Sigiriya, that's there. And if you want to get that lush tip. Tea plantations and everything. There is called Nuralia, that hill country. Nuralia, really. I've been there. It's yeah. so beautiful. It's gorgeous. It's, they call this little little. Yeah. So I would like you all to visit Sri Lanka. We look forward to coming to Sri Lanka. Curly Tales is going to come very soon, and we'll make a nice travel log. We'll come and meet you all. So we'll need okay. some time with you. Okay. Enjoy a nice meal with you when okay. we come to Kandy. Definitely, because you should come to our house and have some delicious, not breakfast, yeah. uh, lunch. And, thank, uh, you. thank you very much. Uh, <laughs> for this interview.